Hello everybody, Max and Monty 15 and 16 here back again with another Countdown to Christmas review. And so, well, we only have three days left until Christmas, and well, that's really exciting me. I can't wait to see what presents I'm getting. Anyway, Christmas aside, let's go ahead and uh, just start out and uh, start the review on Bertram, if you haven't already read the title, of course. So anyway, uh, yeah, here's Bertram. So he has actually got quite a bit of a wooden railway and TV series history, which we, which we should probably go through, but I'm going to basically summarize it. So Bertram was originally intended to be a tank engine and a completely new character. However, due to budget cuts in season 5, basically they had to repaint Duke and thus he became a tender engine. By the time the wooden railway model was already a concept and was already basically made, they still had Bertram's tank engine design. And so that's how they had to release it. And so, um, even, even though that, uh, basically, I mean, the Ertle and the Trackmaster, the Ertle and the Trackmaster already had tenders, as shown right here on your on your screen. But, Ertle aside, even though it is the best Bertram model, uh, anyway, we have basically Bertram. And so, um... Well, for budget cuts, as I previously mentioned, they basically took Duke's model and put Smudger's face on. Because, I mean, we never saw those two characters again because of this random merchandising character that was used for, like, 20 seconds that didn't even speak. So, yeah, that pretty, ups pretty that really upsets me, to be honest, how uh, Bertram was created from such simple beginnings, yet because of him, we never saw Duke and Smudger again. I mean, it definitely would have made more sense if um, Toby found Smudger because, I mean, from what it looked like, he did find a uh, he did find a some sort of Minnesota mine. So, I mean, it's very possible Smudger could have been a generator in that mine. So, I really don't understand why they did Bertram. Obviously, to sell toys, of course. <coughs> but Bertram was one of the first, I mean, and earliest merchandising characters of all time. So anyway, with already the way too long background out of the way, let's go ahead and start on these fairly simple models. So, um, sometime in the nine, sometime around 1999, Bertram was introduced as a Thomas Wooden Railway character in 1999 with two scrap cars. Now, as of this review, I do not own the scrap cars. However, I'm hoping to get them on eBay, either. Uh, either this month or next month with some Christmas money, hopefully. But uh, anyway, that out of the way, Bertram was released by himself again in 2012, and then they stuck to their word, and by 2013, he was discontinued, being at one of the at first actual limited edition models. Because, I mean, if you want to argue that D199 and Blind Scotsman were limited edition, the Mattel versions, they weren't. They, they, still, they still have them at my local drugstore. Because, I mean, I've told that that story a million times but anyway this Bertram has a unique face that looks almost enough like Smudger but still captures Bertram's personality at least from what he's described as you can obviously tell that I have um, I have played with this item a lot especially when I was younger considering I got it in 2012 when it was first released by himself I mean cuz I cuz you know I don't own the crap cars but uh, he has a very strange uh, design, to say the least. He has a very small cab, which is also painted red on the top, and both of his domes, well, actually, his dome and his safety valve are both red. He also has a red, a thick red striper along his running board, and probably on his front, too, but I blacked it out using, like, a black sharpie, and I did the same thing on the back. So, obviously, you can tell Bertram has some scratches because I played with him so much, especially in the sandbox that I used to have when I was a kid. So that was pretty bad, and it also explains why his magnets are pretty rusty. But I never intended on using this because one day I I just I really wanted to see a Bertram with a tender, and well, in 2016 we got our wish. Well, um, it was it was first um, shown in January 2016 that we would be getting a new Bertram by some Japanese um, or excuse me Chinese. Uh, online sale site or whatever. Basically, they just showed it, but it was Duke. And they said it was Duke, but that was wrong. And turns out we just got the random reintroduction of Bertram for the fans, I guess. Either way, I am glad we got a new one because I really, really enjoy this Bertram. Especially because it has two purposes. 
One, you could use it as a tank engine, considering that it does have a bunker. So you could just get the tender away, and if you wanted Bertram to be a tank engine, you could totally do that. Or you could add his tender, and of course, it does look a little weird that a tank engine has a tender now, but still, it's multifunctional. I mean, that's my guess. He has some great funnel details up here with an in-hand appraisal. If I can get the camera to focus on the funnel, which I don't think is going to happen. Um, anyway, if I could focus in on that face, it definitely looks a lot like Smudger's happy face, aka Bertram's happy face a lot. And so I really do enjoy this face, as well as uh, the funnel details I mentioned earlier. I don't know if you guys can see him on camera very well. But anyway, he does have a clear nameplate, whereas the original one just kind of had a backwards L and a handrail, but I don't really get that. They changed, the, they changed the handrail from gold to silver, and his dome and safety valve have switched positions, I guess you could say, because now the safety valve is in the front, because it's, I mean, I'm guessing that's the safety valve because it's smaller, but also his cab is now brown, and you could argue that it is a very simple model, even though we do have some piston detailings right here, as well as um, paint on the um, smoke boxes, which we rarely ever see. So also, we have this squarish looking tender, which is pretty basic, but it's also pretty good for custom making, if you have any OCs. And it actually says Bertram's tender on the bottom, of course, with this red square in the middle, and that's pretty much it. So I'm really, um, it's pretty unfortunate that this review had to drag on for so long, which I am known for rambling, to be honest. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this countdown to Christmas, and thank you guys so much for watching this. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and yeah, thanks for watching. Anyway, Maximonti15 and 16, signing